Hey guys, back with another educational video and this week we're going to do something a little bit different. We're not reviewing a study or, or a group of studies or anything like that. We're talking about a product this week. Now I know this product has been popping up in a lot of your social media feeds because you guys send it to me and you must think it's BS because a lot of you are like, hey, debunk this. First off, I never like to like set out to just debunk something. I like to make sure that like whatever I'm looking at, you know, does it have validity or not before I just go attacking because that's a very dangerous mindset to get into. And the product's actually been popping up in my social media feed as well. It's called Lumen. The claims I saw initially were that basically find out what fuel your body's using right now. Um, and it can, this is kind of a triggering, triggering word for me, but hack your metabolism to know whether or not you're burning carbs or fats. Well, I figured pretty early on it must be using an RER or respiratory exchange ratio. RER refers to the amount of CO2 produced by metabolism versus how much oxygen is being used by metabolism. Basically the way you do this is you breathe into something and it measures like what gases are being expelled from your body versus what's in the room. And essentially it can tell you based on that ratio whether or not you're predominantly burning carbohydrates or fats or a mix of both. So an RER of one for example means you're almost exclusively burning carbohydrate. An RER of 0.7 is nearly exclusively fat and anything in between there is a mix. I did see a video and apparently there's an app that goes along with this. Um, I don't know if the device has been validated, but if it's been validated, RER is a, a completely reasonable uh, measure. It does measure what fuel you're utilizing. Now before you go out and buy one, uh, wait till the end of the video because I'm gonna explain why fuel being utilized is not the same thing as fat loss or fat gain. The app is also giving you nutritional and workout instruction based on what your RER is. And uh, some of the screens I saw, and I don't know how the back end works or anything like that, so I can only make opinions based off what I've seen, but some of the screens I saw were, for example, you're doing great, looks like you're burning a lot of fat, have a high carb day today. And then the next one, hey, looks like you're burning too many carbs, let's have a low carb day today, and that sort of thing. Which, hey, that seems reasonable, but you have to understand fuel being oxidized is not the same thing as fat loss. So for example, just because you're burning a lot of fat doesn't mean you're losing a lot of fat. Fat loss or gain is determined by the equation of fat balance equals fat stored minus fat burned or fat oxidized. Now, if you eat a really high fat, very low carb diet, you will burn a lot of fat. You also store a lot of fat because the body doesn't really store carbohydrate as fat. There's been several studies on overfeeding showing that basically of the fat you store, approximately 98% of it to 99% of it is from dietary fat. Only one to 2% of the fat you store in your fat cells is from carbohydrate. So carbs aren't really stored as fat. It's mostly dietary fat stored as fat. So if you eat a lot of dietary fat, and low carbohydrate, you'll burn a lot of dietary fat, but you'll also store a lot of dietary fat. So whether or not you lose fat or gain fat will be determined by your energy balance, not how much fat you're burning. Now, if you're eating a high carb diet, for example, you won't burn very much fat, but you also won't store very much fat. Once again, the balance of fat loss or fat gain will be determined by your energy balance, which is how many calories are you taking in, versus how many you're expending. This device isn't telling you how many calories you're expending, it's just telling you what your body's preferred fuel source is. And that can also be deceiving in of itself. For example, you can not change your diet at all, but if you start doing really, really high intensity exercise, your RER will go up. You'll be using much more carbohydrate. But that doesn't mean that you're not losing fat. It just means that that fuel at that particular time is predominantly carbohydrate. Now what we've seen in exercise studies is that if you burn a lot of carbohydrate during your workout, you end up burning more fat throughout the rest of the day. If you end up burning a lot of fat during your workout, you burn more carbohydrate throughout the rest of the day, okay? Your body balances this very well. So the problem that I could foresee is if this app is using how much fat you're burning is kind of being indicative of whether or not you're losing fat and telling you, hey, you need to have a high carb day today because you've been burning a lot of fat, you're doing a great job. Well, if you then have a high carb day, guess what's gonna happen to your RER? It's gonna go up. And now it's gonna tell you you're burning a lot of carbs. So guess what's gonna happen the next day? It's gonna tell you to have a low carb day. 
and you're going to oscillate back and forth like that and it's giving no consideration to what your energy balance is now i don't know if there's like a calorie tracker in the app or anything like that that could be there that could be something but if it's only operating off of RER, it's not really giving you usable data insofar as body composition. Now, maybe you're an athlete. I would argue then that there's still limited data that it provides, but maybe you just really care about what your fuel selection is. I personally don't because again, at the end of the day, it's gonna boil down to energy balance and how many calories you're consuming versus your energy expenditure based on your BMR, NEAT, uh, TEF, and your exercise energy expenditure. So I think the tool itself may be reliable. I think making determinations on your diet based on the fuel that your body is using at the time is probably very unreliable in terms of trying to get yourself uh, consistent results. That's my take on it. Personally, I'm not gonna buy it and I'm not gonna recommend my clients buy it and I don't really know what data that's really uh, helpful for body composition it's gonna provide. But if you really care about whether or not you're burning carbohydrate or oxidizing fat, regardless of whether or not you're gaining or losing fat, then maybe it's helpful. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next week.